This video tutorial covers a women at work spatial lab in the process of identifying attractive international markets from the perspective of both marketing and accounting factors. The tutorial will cover the process of international market assessment. It will provide a summary of the women at work scenario. It will give instructions on accessing and opening the spatial lab, the steps you will perform in the spatial lab, and the written answers you will submit as part of your project report. This spatial lab focuses on the process of international market assessment. This is a very important process in international business market because it identifies those countries which are most favorable to your business operations. You do that by focusing on those countries which provide the, the greatest opportunities and the fewest threats among potential country markets, and you systematically screen those countries to identify the most favorable business opportunity with multiple factors taken into account. And this helps the organization create appropriate expansion strategies for the firm and its objectives. Business GIS can help in this process by integrating data from several different sources and types of information into a single project. It allows the researcher to display relevant data visually in maps and charts, and it facilitates multi-factor queries, which allow researchers and decision makers to screen countries based on several factors simultaneously. In this particular case, the Women at Work scenario, we're working with a retail firm that focuses on professional women with above average income. The firm sells personal and professional items to these women, and these items help them to balance the conflicting demands of their busy lives with the personal and professional dimensions of those lives. The firm has been very successful in the United States and is now seeking to enter attractive international markets by identifying where the best opportunities are. And so what it wants to do is evaluate country markets around the world based on the, the, the target market criteria that's established for income and percentage of women in the workforce, but it also wants to consider cultural values and ease of doing business in different countries. In doing so, it wants to examine the relationship between income and workforce participation by females, as well as country val cultural values in the country markets that it's targeting. It wants to identify the countries which meets best the target market criteria and recommend countries for the firm's international expansion. You are the business GIS analyst on the team uh, and you will help as it performs these tasks with which it's been charged. So in the spatial lab itself, uh, to get to the instructions for the lab, you will open the map that is associated with the lab and then you will select only the click on the map to open an instructions box layer in that map. Uh, you will then click inside the map to open a pop-up with instructions and then double click or right click and uh, save procedure to download the spatial lab and open in Microsoft Word. Here's what that's going to look like in your map screen. So the instructions for downloading the file uh, and for viewing this video tutorial are included in that instruction box and these will help you get started with the process. Once you've loaded the spatial lab, you'll follow the steps that are described there to explore the distribution of income, female workforce participation, cultural values, and ease of doing business in countries across the globe. You'll identify the countries which best meet the firm's target market definition and compare the, the attractiveness of countries that have been selected to meet those various criteria. And then you'll recommend specific countries uh, for market entry. Let's move to the spatial lab itself and you'll see how you work through those procedures. Here's what the written instructions for the spatial lab look like. You begin with an introduction to the scenario and a more uh, detailed description of this organization of what it's trying to accomplish, uh, as well as some guidelines to the, to the time you'll take to complete these activities and what the focus of your analysis is going to be. Then you have a series of activities and tasks that you perform. Uh, you load the map document if you haven't already done so, uh, and note the ID and password if they are necessary to do that. You will open a map which already has some thematic information, distribution of income specifically around the world already displayed. Uh, you will look for patterns in that distribution uh, and then also in distribution of participation of women in the workforce in countries around the world and use pop-up windows to see what those specific values are for different countries. You will then comment on the relationship between income and female workforce participation, and also those countries of high individualism and small power distance values. These are countries that are selected for their cultural similarity to the United States using information from the Hofstede studies of 2010. 
you will then combine all this information by looking for countries that meet a particular combination of criteria related to high levels of, of female workforce, high per capita income, similar cultural values, but also favorable business conditions, the ease of doing business index for different countries around the world. And here are the specific criteria that you will use to include countries in your selected set. You will identify the countries that meet all of these criteria. You will record the values for each of the, the measures in a table. And then you will answer a series of questions that help you make the decision about which countries to enter. You look generally at the relationship between income and workforce participation in different parts of the world, uh, between cultural values and, and historical and social factors that might have created those values. You will then use a variety of screening material, uh, screening criteria and priorities uh, to select the countries that are most attractive based on different approaches or different priorities. And finally, you will use your choice of criteria to select three countries that you recommend as the final three candidates. And you will explain your selection uh, process in the countries that you have chosen to recommend. So in your written report, you will answer the questions and in doing so discuss the relationship between income and female workforce participation and also the distribution of cultural values and the historical and social roots. You'll evaluate country attractiveness with different decision criteria by filling out the table and looking at the different values for countries around the world, recommend three countries for initial entry, and submit the report as directed by your instructor to complete the project. So that completes this video tutorial on the Women at Work Spatial Lab. Uh, good luck as you complete this project.